Throughout this week, we've been looking at different steps or different tools that we can use for seeking God's wisdom and guidance. And so today we're going to look at steps four, five, and six. So let's dive right in and see what we can learn today. Step four is to ask God a simple question of how. It's one thing for God to say, hey, I want you to go and do this. It's another thing for God to say, here's how I want you to do it. Throughout the pages of scripture, we can see a number of examples about how God spoke the how to people. He spoke the how with Noah and the ark. Here's how big I want it to be. Here's the wood I want you to make it like, look like. And here's how I'm going to bring all the animals in. Uh, similarly, Moses was told, here's the how of the, how the, um, the, the, the temple is supposed to be built and put together. And even yesterday, we talked about Gideon and being able to just lay out that fleece before God. After he laid out the fleece and got, okay, God is calling me to this. He then asked the question of how, how am I supposed to do this? And then God made it clear to him. You got too many men. I want you to back off. I want you to actually know what's from me. And he goes, well, how do I discern which men I should take along with me? And God gradually laid out that process of how to get in. And we have that ability as well to have, have that conversation with God to say, okay, if you call me to this, how is it going to happen? And I think it's really important for us to be careful that we don't rush the question of how, but that we allow God to speak to us in his due time with his due wisdom about what the how will look like. And it may very well be an exercise in patience for us that if we feel that God has called us here and we feel immobilized not knowing how, then God's probably going to grow our patience to make sure that we are willing to trust in him and wait on him as he reveals the how to us. So the fifth piece is then discerning when. After we figured out what it is that God wants us to do, we figured out how God wants us to do it, then we have to wait for when God wants us to do it. And, and, and the when question can be in a multiple different ways. It could be like, you know, immediately right now, and that if we delay, we could be missing out on what God's plan is, or it can be hold on for a period of time, don't rush into this. Because remember, God is the, the being who holds the entire universe in the palms of his hands, and there's multiple different parts that could be moving in place where he could be saying, you need to go now, or you need to wait, let me get these other parts in place, don't rush forward on this. So it's important for us to ask the question about when, God, when do you want me to move on this? And then the sixth piece is just simply the putting all of these parts forward into motion to obey, that if God has spoken something to you and he's kind of given you the plan about the what it is, uh, the how it's going to be, the when it's going to go, make sure that you obey that plan and have it carefully documented so that way you can say, I'm following God's plan as he has revealed it to me. Uh, James chapter 1 verses 5 through 8 says that if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault. And it'll be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt because he who doubts is like a wave tossed by the sea. The man should not think he'll receive anything from the Lord. And with those words right there about believing and not doubting, God's making it abundantly clear that when he has laid the plan out, then go forward with it. Obey it. Do it. So just take a few moments now and, and write down one or two things that I've said that have stuck out to you. Maybe even write down one or two questions or pushbacks that you may have on what I have said. Then write down the three final steps of following God's guidance today. And then I want you to consider more specifically about the timing one. Why is it difficult for us to submit to God's timing on most things? Moving into some life application, spend some time today in prayer with God, expressing your desire to be led by his will, expressing your desire to be at the center of his will, expressing your desire to be faithful to all the different components of following God's plan. Now don't rush this. Take all the time that you need because God wants to grow you in the process. He wants to take the time necessary to develop your obedience to him. And let's conclude by reading Matthew 16 verses 21 through 28. Practice the spiritual disciplines with that passage and let the voice of God speak to you. God bless you and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.